Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. All the way up. What's up, y'all? It's Sugar April, as you guys already know. So I decided for this video I wasn't going to put my wig cap back on because, or my scarf, because for what? I'm just going to wear it for a few minutes and I'm going to take it right off. As you guys probably have already noticed and seen quite a few videos, I have worn this shirt quite a few times and it's not on a daily basis. It's just that I do more than one video in one day. So I decided I'm just going to keep this one on and we're going to go with the flow. You know what I'm saying? We're going to ride it out. Plain and simple. So this video is for a company that I've already worked for numerous of times and they have like some really nice affordable lace wig units. And this is a China Hair Mall. So they did send me some makeup brushes which I really didn't open because they're just makeup brushes. It also came with some flexi rods, which I have a whole mess load of. Okay, the normal, their return packaging policy and brochure. Some lashes up in this bitch. Okay, so this is the 360, 360 lace wig. You guys know you love the lace wigs, the 360s, whatever, because you can put it up in a high or low ponytail. Me, I don't do either one, but I'm going to try today to do a low. And this is the Indian Remy hair, and it's 20 inches in and let it add some elastic in it. It does come with the combs in it and the adjustable strap in the nape, but I went ahead and tweezed me just a tiny bit onto the right side, and that's about it. So it is a pre-plucked hairline. Honestly, this is actually straight out of the box. So the only thing that I did with this unit was I parted it, I put a little bit of a part and a little bit of tweezing, and then I used my lot of body styling mousse along with my Aussie styling mousse, and I kind of like laid the hair. This is Indie Remy. It feels like a really light yakky to me. The first thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take some of my concealer and I'm going to place that into the part. I like to do this before I place it on because it just makes life a whole lot easier. That way I don't have to get any makeup on the hair. I mean it is easy removal but I just I like life easy and simple, simplistic as possible. Now it's all up to you if you want to use elastic band. I just do that because it just makes it sit really, really tight to my head. And I like stuff squeezing my head, like squeezing my brains out. Now what I'm going to do, because I really do like everything to blend seamlessly, I'm going to take that same makeup brush and I'm going to take my little thing here and I'm just going to do that all on the wig, like all in the front because it just makes everything much easier for me. And I'm not going to do it like really all in the front, but only like some areas. This wig is supposed to be 20 inches, but it really feels like it's longer than that. But either way, it's so smooth. Like this is like really like silky, nice, smooth hair. So it doesn't feel super, super silky. It feels like it wants to be like a light yakky texture. Either way, I think it's really very sleek and nice, especially for those who love it sleek and nice, honey. Lay it down then. Lay it down, girl. But you know what I'm saying? The hair is super nice and soft.
Okay, so see, this is my ponytail. OG status, okay? I'm Listen, I like the little high ponytails, the buns, all of that stuff. But a girl head shape is not made for that. Meaning, I feel like my head is too long for a high ponytail or a high bun. And I'll do a medium ponytail, like right here. But I'm going to tell y'all this. I'm not about to fight with no wig to do that. If, if the wig want to be here, that's where it's going to be. If the ponytail on the wig want to be right here as a low, it's going to be that. Sometimes I do like it to be medium. However, you just got to do a little bit more. And sometimes I just don't want to do all of that. So I like it like this. This is the one thing that I really like about this wig from China Hair Mall. It's so sleek and smooth. Like, for real, you can't even see, like, if it's yours or not. Like, because it's, like laying so flat to my head and that's what i really like about this like it does get pretty hot out here and i just don't be for all the hair on me but i do like to look cute y'all know i always be like girl i like to look cute girl i like to look cute a girl do like to look cute i'm just saying what? So, for me, to be able to pull it back like this is very, very important. Some hair, like if I was to make a closure wig, of course I cannot pull it back like this. But for it to be like this right here, a girl is like, yes, hunties, this is decent. I like my ponytail like this. It kind of camouflages from my face. Yes, I really, really do like the hair like this. Like, it's just very simplistic. It's not too much. And it's just the perfect density for me. It's 180% density. It's a regular cap, medium, natural color, Indian Remy hair. It's so smooth. This is by far amazing. But China Hair Mall has some really great hair, and I have worked for them on numerous occasions, and I enjoy working with them because I do like their hair a lot. It's very affordable, and they have some bomb-ass hair, so keep that in mind, okay? And you know me, I, I like to branch out, but I do like to work with companies that have good hair, but at a good, affordable price, because I don't think that anybody should be paying high high prices for hair it's just hair you know what i'm saying it's just hair so yes make sure you check out china hair mall i will post all of their information for you guys below as well as that as make sure you rate comment subscribe let me know if you think of my og ponytail i love you guys stay diva and delicious and i'll see you on a soon to come video